Okay, so this is a quick video tutorial on how to import data into our SQL database management software, uh, AdMiner. Uh, so at this point, you should be logged into hackberrylab.com slash pink slash SQL uh, using the login information that I've provided in the assignment. Uh, and uh, we're gonna kind of, you know, revisit this space to run some code in just a little bit. Um, but you are all going to need to uh, source a data set from the lock5stat uh, website that I've also provided a link to. So in lock5stat, there's gonna be a variety of databases that you can uh, choose from. So you should choose one that you think is particularly interesting and one that actually has some pretty good uh, data to look at. Um, so for example, um, I'm just gonna kind of pick one moderately at random, so fire ants, that sounds interesting. I'm gonna click on this little text link to kind of look. And here it looks like there's habitat twitches and flea not really 100% sure what that means, so I'm not really sure how I would interpret that data. So this is an example of a, uh, a database that maybe isn't so you know imp in interesting to work with. Uh, so I'm going to come over here to Happy Planet Index and click on the TXT. Uh, and here I can see a variety of, of countries. I can see this, this happiness index, so it looks like that's like the value between 0 and 10. Uh, life expectancy, sometimes the columns don't perfectly line up, but I can see the life expectancy. So this may be the type of database that you would want to use. Maybe you can compare the, uh, you know, the level of happiness that people have to see if those types of people live longer or something like that. And so in this particular case, um, this sounds like a good uh, table to use. So I'm going to click back. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to this CSV link. CSV stands for comma separated values. Uh, and so this is the type of data that we do want. I'm going to right click it and click this copy link address. Uh, and I'm going to go over to this third website that I've also provided a link for that's called the CSV to SQL converter. And so it's going to take that CSV file, that comma separated value file, and it's going to turn it into a SQL command that we'll be able to import over here on AdMiner. And so to do that, I'm going to come down to step one that says select your input, and I'm going to come over here to enter URL, uh, and I'm going to right click and paste and paste that link that I just copied in. I'll click load URL. And what you can see is it's actually kind of pulled up some information. So it says that there's 143 records and 11 fields, and that's really good. And so I'm going to kind of scroll down a little bit more. Uh, and what I would like to do um, is I want to give this actual good table name. Uh, and so for this class, all of our tables are going to start with 399, just to keep them separate from maybe other tables that we have in that database. Uh, and then at that point, I need to come up with a good name for it. So I'm going to call it 399 Planet. I'm going to continue to scroll down. I'm going to hit this CSV to SQL insert button. It's going to give me a big uh, batch of code here. And in order to copy that code, I'm just going to click this little button here that says copy result to clipboard. I'm going to come back over to AdMiner, and I'm going to come over to the SQL command option. And in here, I'm going to paste all that text that was loaded in, and I'm going to click execute. At this point, you can see lots of green lines where it has been creating that database. And you'll notice that we have a new database called 399 Planet. I want to go ahead and click into that. I can see that it has all the fields there, so the country, the region, the happiness, the life expectancy, so on and so forth. Uh, and then I'm going to click Select Data. Uh, and I can actually see that all that data went ahead and imported just as I expected. Uh, and so this is where you want to get to in order to be able to work with your own custom database for the assignment. And that's it.